You've heard it takes a village to help a family. In Portland, that village is real. It's called Bridge Meadows. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us, Dorinda Schubert, Executive Director of Bridge Meadows. Thanks so much for being with us once again. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. Last time I talked to you, uh, Bridge Meadows was, you could say, still in its infancy. You're three years old now. Yes, so tell are. me what, what's been going on and, and explain the model, the dynamic of Bridge Meadows. Well, Bridge Meadows is an intentional intergenerational community, which translates to it's, an, it's a community where people purposely come together for the purpose of helping kids get adopted out of foster care. And in the community live families agreeing to adopt children from foster care and elders who want to be uh, part of those kids' lives so that they have meaning and purpose. So everybody has a place, they have a sense of permanency, and they have a purpose. Now these elders, it, it, uh, it warms my heart because these elders are not blood relatives in some cases. They're people who just want to help other people. Yes, there is a great movement among the elder population with all the boomers coming into play now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think ARP says that 8,000 people a day are becoming a baby boomer. Mm -hmm. They really are younger and vibrant and healthier and they want to live with meaning and purpose. So people, um, the elders come from all over the nation to live at Bridge Meadows. They find us through websites, they find us through some promotional material we put out and they're, what they're coming for is they want to give back and they feel like they're too young to be sitting at home in a rocking chair. So they're part of these kids' lives and they are um, giving back through tutoring, through teaching kids how to cook, through babysitting, through uh, just being a shoulder to cry on. So we're not talking about a big dormitory here, we're talking about housing and apartments mm -hmm. for the elders. And it is all within walking distance, all the different services? Yes, we're on a two-acre block up in North Portland. Uh, it used to be the John Ball Elementary School site, for those who are familiar with that part of the neighborhood. And we have uh, 27 apartments for elders and nine family homes. And they're all integrated so that you really have a sense of social connection with each other, either on purpose or accidentally by the mailbox or through some of the activities that we host on a regular basis, like happiness hour every Wednesday at 4 o'clock. People come together and they share a healthy snack prepared by elders and the, sometimes the kids present their school project like we just learned about Guatemala a couple weeks ago uh -huh. by some kids or they're playing activities you know doing a puzzle or playing a game or just sharing stories about the week. And it really gives a, a good role model for some of these kids who may not have one. Oh yes, and it really gives them a fabric and a foundation to know that they really are loved and they belong. Mm -hmm. And when they have that, then their self-worth increases and they really can um, do well at school and have better relationships in the long run. It's a really reciprocal relationship. And you have about 30 kids, close 29, mm -hmm. 30 kids. Mm -hmm. But the elders, you tell me, range in age from 55 to 90? Yes, and our 90-year-old, she's quite spry. She <laughs> she can run circles around us with her walker. She has been living, she moved from Lake Oswego to live in uh, Bridge Meadows, and she told us that it was her dream, that she always had a vision to live in a village, if you will, like Bridge Meadows, and that when her daughter, who was a donor of ours, came and brought her to see us, she said, I'm moving. And people thought she was crazy. They're like, what are you move in at 87 mm -hmm. years old what are you doing and she said no this is how I want to live out the rest of my life and Mayor Doyle in Beaverton has asked you to replicate that in his jurisdiction uh, yes we we're very honored by that invitation and so right now we are working with his team to identify land and to begin creating uh, another Bridge Meadows in Beaverton well you know every time I see you I, I just get <laughs> this big smile on my face knowing that there are good people in this world willing to help others thank you Dorinda Schubert we appreciate you joining us from Bridge Meadows, and and I know you're a, a big fan of the TV show Grimm, so yes. you're smiling ear to ear to be here, <laughs> and so are we. We're in the police precinct on the set of the TV show Grimm. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day, everyone.